Assalamu alaikum guys, uh, as you can see from the title, it's a very shocking video, but I want to make it clear to you guys, I would never, ever, never, ever in a billion years in my wildest dreams ever leave Islam. Astaghfirullah, may Allah never show me that day. May Allah make me die as a Muslim. I mean, and uh, every Muslim, I mean, like a beautiful... Uh, anyway, so uh, why am I making this video? I think it's necessary to make this video so that people can learn from my experience, the young kids, the young kids who haven't like uh, been through that stage. There, there might be not a lot, but there might be some cases. Anyway, so this is back when I was 15 to 16 years old, way back, way before I started making Islamic videos that uh, you know, even though Alhamdulillah, I'm born in a Muslim family, which is the biggest blessing of my life. Alhamdulillah, I have uh, always, like, uh, not always, but I have been curious. Okay, I, I, I'm a curious person, Alhamdulillah. And um, when I was 15 to 16 years old, even though, like, my family is religious, Alhamdulillah, especially my dad, uh, he has a lot of knowledge, Alhamdulillah, but he wasn't really... I would say paying attention to us, okay? Even though he, he really wanted us to become Muslims and all that stuff. He has told me like one of his biggest dream, one of his biggest prayer, like dua that he has made is like one of my children to become a scholar of Islam. Like this is what he has told me so many times. Like this is one of my biggest prayer and I have a feeling that it, I have a little feeling that it's you. Anyway, moving on to the story. I was... Uh, having kind of doubts not in islam but like in the whole humanity thing and of course islam being a part of my life like it also was like i don't know a thing anyway it wasn't really a doubt i would say it was like a wake-up call i would call it so you know when i was 15 i was like why are we sent in this world what is my purpose and who am i actually like who am i and i was like if the next world, if the afterlife exists, then I have to make sure that the religion that I'm following is the truth. Because you don't want to die and end up finding out that the religion that you were following is incorrect because the afterlife is forever. So this is one thing that always stayed in my head. And uh, of course, the doubts that I had, okay, the questions that I had in my mind is because of lack of knowledge. Okay, this is one important thing for parents to teach their kids from a young age the knowledge of Islam. No matter how little you know, you must give them knowledge. Learn yourself and then teach others as well. Never stop learning, okay? Knowledge is the most important thing. Anyway, so because of lack of knowledge, I had a lot of doubts in my mind. Okay, I was a confused kid. But alhamdulillah, in my heart, I sincerely wanted guidance. I always prayed to Allah, Ya Allah, guide my heart, show me the truth, and keep me steadfast to the truth. Alhamdulillah, uh, after, after that, I was like, okay, now I have a lot of doubts, but once it's proven to me that Islam is the true word, I mean, true religion, then I am never ever going to question any part of Islam whether I understand understand it or not because in the future I will understand it again because these doubts are gonna keep coming because we're learning, we need more knowledge. Anyway, so I was like, once I find out that Islam is the truth, I'm never ever questioning it ever again. Anyway, so I was like, I have to research all of the religions to find out how Islam is the word of God. I'm sorry, how Islam is the religion of Allah. I mean, the like the real religion, okay, the truth. So I looked into all the other religions. You guys don't have to, okay? I already did. <laughs> if you're a Muslim, <laughs> if you're a non-Muslim, um, I would say that do more research. This is what I would advise you, okay? with an open mind that's what i did okay i was like i'm gonna do research with a complete neutral mind okay neutral mind even though in my heart i still i still believed that no religion can be as good as authentic 
and as logical as Islam, okay? In my mind, it was there in a, in a corner, but I was like, I have to be neutral, uh, you know, going all of this. So I did what any other human being would do. Like internet is available for everyone, YouTube especially. So I went on YouTube, I would be there like the whole day looking at different debates of Islam with Christianity, Islam with atheism, Islam with uh, Judaism. I don't know if there's any, but I definitely did watch probably because I, I didn't leave anything. And uh, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. Okay, no offense to my Hindu viewers. I didn't really um, consider Hinduism because there's like, I'm speaking from a common sense, no offense to you guys at all, with respect. Like, it doesn't make sense that there could be 30 million gods, okay, more than 30 million gods, and when you die, like, which one is going to punish you or reward you? Like, it doesn't make a lot of sense, so I didn't really look into that, okay? No offense, guys. Anyway, so I went through, like, thousands of videos of people debating, okay, which included brother Muhammad Hijab, included uh, brother Hamza Zordziz, included Ahmed Didad, and one of the biggest, biggest, biggest was Dr. Zakir Nayak. May Allah reward him for everything that he has done. I mean, he has memorized the Hindu scriptures, which is like so many, like no one can do that. SubhanAllah. He has memorized the Quran, he has memorized the Bible the old testament everything and this guy is a muslim subhanallah like after going through all of this with a neutral mind guys and i was remember 15 16 okay i was like khalas islam is the truth and from today onwards no matter what questions that i get in my mind about islam or god i'm going to ignore it because this is the true religion and remember guys, these questions and uh, worries are brought into your mind by shaitan to misguide you, okay? It depresses you because you can't ask them. Remember, remember, it's not uh, shameful to ask any questions, okay? You can ask whatever you want. But just because you can't find the answer does not mean that there is no answer, okay? It's just gonna take you some time. Just be patient. More importantly, rely on Allah and always keep it in your heart that Allah will guide you one day. I, okay, when I was young, when I was like 12 to 15 years old, even though my parents always used to tell me like, pray, 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 I was completely healthy. I never prayed, guys, stuff for Allah. I never prayed. And I think it was because of laziness, shaitan overpowered me. But the only thing, only thing that helped me is in my heart, I used to make dua. Ya Allah, enable me to pray. Anytime I see someone praying five times a day, I'd be jealous. Why can't I be one of them? So subhanAllah, it all starts with dua and sincere intention, guys. Whatever you want to achieve in life, especially with Islam, you have to keep making dua and sincerely believe in it. Even though I never believed, even in my duas, I was like, I'm not sure if it's gonna come true or not, but I still, in my heart, I wanted it. Anyway, other than that, one more thing I wanted to share with you guys is knowledge, the importance of knowledge. There's a hadith, I don't wanna quote it wrong, but the meaning of it is that uh, seek knowledge um, from beginning till the end, yani from birth till death, seek knowledge. Knowledge is the most important thing, and be careful guys, on the internet, there's a lot of like, 70 to 90 percent of the people that show to be islamic have in they include little bit of misguidance so you better be careful for me alhamdulillah my father he has like very good amount of knowledge because he grew up in mecca among the scholars he used to sit with the scholars he has read like 600 books overall religious and other stuff alhamdulillah so my dad by the grace of Allah was a huge help for me whenever I went astray, basically. So what I want to tell you guys is if you spend too much time on YouTube, uh, look, watching videos, don't come in, don't come in, watching videos of 
thinking like you're watching Islamic videos, but it's not good videos. Sometimes, a lot of times, there are Islamic videos which don't give you knowledge, but they just increase your uh, enthusiasm, you know that? It makes you wanna fight, it makes you wanna do like crazy things. You're enthusiastic, but you don't have the knowledge. Those videos are not good, be careful. And also, remember, first you need to learn the basic knowledge of Islam so that if you watch a complicated video about Islam, you find out like this person said this, which is against the correct, correct teachings of Islam. This person said this, it's, in, uh, it's like against the teaching of Islam because there are so many people with corrupt aqidah on the internet. So be careful who you take knowledge from uh, and uh, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. You have anything to say, bro? Yeah, it's my first time saying something in 11 minutes of this video. But uh, yeah, guys, just uh, try your best, I guess. I don't know what to say, honestly. Okay, I'm yeah. not very good at these. I, what I want to end this with is, guys, always seek knowledge, okay? Always seek knowledge. Knowledge is a good thing. Just make sure that what you know, is it good? Is it like authentic knowledge? Or is it just something someone said, okay? Just as long as in your heart you're sincerely searching for the truth and you rely on Allah and you make dua to Allah to guide your heart and to keep you steadfast to his deen, his religion, Allah will guide you. Thank you so much for watching. Assalamu alaikum guys.